In this tutorial, we'll take a look at order of operations. Why does order matter? Our question, 3 plus 2 times 5 minus 1. This is the kind of question you'd see as a skill testing question if you won a prize or something. So, what's the answer? Let's bring in our three contestants to see who might be able to solve this. We have Carrie, we have Tony, and we have James. Each player has a good idea on how to solve this. Let's look at Carrie's work. She figures that addition and subtraction are the easiest, so let's do that first. 3 plus 2 is 5, and 5 minus 1 is 4, so on the next line she'd have 5 times 4, and multiplying that, Carrie comes out with 20. Yeah, and that seems to make sense. So let's see what Tony is thinking. She decides to do the multiplication first. So, 2 times 5 equals 10. So on her next line, she'd have 3 plus 10 minus 1. And she'd be getting 3 plus 10 equals 13 minus 1 is 12. Hmm. She has something different than Carrie. Who's right? Well, maybe James will clear this up. James is thinking... We read from left to right, so let's do this math expression from left to right. So James starts off with 3 plus 2 is 5. So on the next line he has 5 times 5 minus 1. And he's thinking that 5 times 5 is 25. Then subtract 1 and it's 24. So James isn't the tiebreaker. We have three totally different answers. Now, surely some mathematicians must have known there would be cases like this where people can't agree on a correct answer. And in order to clear this up, they'd have to determine an order in which these math calculations should be done. In fact, they did, and Tony remembers learning about this in school. So she knew what a mathematical expression like this really means. Let's make sure we understand what Tony knows. Tony knows that to know what comes first, you need to understand the order of operations. That is, the order in which all math expressions can be solved. She remembers it as BEDMAS, where the B stands for brackets, the E stands for exponents, and the D and M stand for division and multiplication, and the A and S stand for addition and subtraction. To be clear, the D and M could be switched around and it wouldn't make any difference. That is, it could be BEM does, as the multiplication and division can be done in whatever order as long as they're after the brackets and exponents. And in the same way, the AS at the end could be SA, as addition and subtraction can be done in whatever order as well, as long as they're done after the division and multiplication. Tony looked at the expression and thought. There are no brackets, there are no exponents, division or multiplication? Well, yes, there's a multiplication to do in the middle, 2 times 5. And so now that we have that done, we can see that there's addition and subtraction at the end, so we can finish it up. Let's do a couple examples to make sure we understand this. The first one, 5 minus 10 divided by 2. We think BEDMAS. There's no brackets. There's no exponents. Well, division and multiplication. Well, there's the division here, so let's do that. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now we know that we have 5 minus 5, and we're at the addition and subtraction, so we can just finish it off for a final answer of 0. Let's try a slightly more complicated one. How about... 2 times 5 plus 15 divided by 3. Well, we think BEDMAS. There's no brackets. There's no exponents. Division and multiplication. Well, we have a multiplication at the beginning. 2 times 5 is 10. And we have a division at the end. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And so we have 10 plus 5. And we're at the addition and subtraction, so we can bring those together for a total answer of 15. In this tutorial, we recognized that there are a lot of mathematical problems out there 
where we need some sort of set of rules to know who is correct. We call these rules the order of operations and remember them using the acronym BEDMAS that we solve a mathematical expression by remembering that we start with brackets, then do exponents, then division and multiplication, and finally the addition and subtraction. If we can remember this, we'll always be the one with the right answer.